This module will show you how ICO rectangular shingles are applied. Other shingle types are demonstrated in later modules. To ease the separation of the shingles, the bundles are bent before they are opened. Open the bundles using the back of a utility knife. Be careful not to cut any part of the shingle that will be visible later. Do not remove the anti-adhesive foil. This will make sure the shingles in the packaging do not stick to one another. Mix shingles from various bundles to avoid colour blocks being visible once the roof is finished. This is important. We make the starter strip by cutting the tabs of the shingles. To ensure that the seams of the starter strip do not coincide with those of the first row of shingles, half a tab is cut off the starter strip. The resulting strip should hang roughly one centimeter over the eaves. Place the strip with the adhesive dots on the underside. After installation, the adhesive dots will seal down the shingles using solar heat. Nail down the starter strip with a shingle as a reference, so the heads of the nails will be covered later on. The starter strip is cut along the chalk line in the valley. To avoid water from the valley under the shingles, make a triangular cut at roughly 5 cm from the strip, leaving an area free from nails roughly 5 cm up the valley, and glue it down. Next, install the first row of shingles on the starter strip. The nails are now positioned 2.5 cm from the edge and 2.5 cm above the cutout. Chalk lines drawn both vertically as well as horizontally are a useful visual aid to ensure the shingles follow a straight line. The starter strip and all shingles that join on the eave profile are glued with ICO shingle stick. Shingles should always be installed diagonally and thus are shortened by half a tab each time. There are little cuts or marking points in the shingles for checking the correct overlap is achieved. A diagonal step flashing is created that guarantees rapid draining and strengthens the whole construction. We finish off with whole shingles. Use corrosion resistant fully barbed nails with large heads about 25 millimeters in length. The number of nails is determined by the type of shingle the slope of the roof and the wind force. In windy areas, double nailing above the cutouts and additional gluing of each tab will be necessary.